hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's your girl hattie welcome back to my channel i am here to do another seafood boil mukbang and this is mb loves life sauce so without further ado we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a thumbnail cheese So I hope that was good. All right, so y'all, we have we have eggs, we have sausage, we have crab leg, king crab legs, we have corn on the cob, we have if I can find them, they're in here. We have shrimp. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna say our grace. And you know we love to sing our grace if you are new. Forward greeting, for it's good, and we thank thee for our food. For thine hands must all be fed. Give us the Lord our daily bread. Give us the Lord our daily bread. All right, <laughs> y'all, let me just tell y'all a few minutes ago, I had tried to do this and I was getting into my eating and stuff. So one of my eggs is kind of already bit off of. This stuff was so spicy. It got in my throat. I could not stop coughing. So I had to cut, I had to cut it out. So let's, let's do take a thousand on, I'm just playing. Let's do another take on this. But that was just gonna be done, hey. I was gonna say, uh -uh. this is it. <clears throat> mm -mm. I had tried to keep talking through it, but it got a hold to me. So I hope I showed y'all everything. Got crab legs too, king crab legs. Show you my sausage, my shrimp, my corn on the cob, and the eggs. I see the eggs. And this is all in B Love's Life Sauce. Mm -hmm. And we have some water. And my Yeti. I have got to get me another hold this water bottle in the building. And we also got some water in a regular dishoning bottle because guess what? Just in case I need some more, this stuff is, I got her mild seasoning, but for some reason her seasoning, her mild seasoning tastes like hot. But it's good. We just got it in my throat last time. And it just stayed there. You know how you can cough and it'll clear the airway? Mm -mm. It made me cough and cough more. Mm. So where are y'all up to? How's your day going? Have y'all been to any spooky houses or do you plan on going to any? Mm. That's a turkey sausage, y'all. Yeah, I know I'm trying to be this good pescatarian. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all remember, like, during 4th of July, I was saying I haven't been eating any pork, and I haven't been. I think since the 4th, I've only had, like, I've only tasted pork maybe one time since the 4th of July. And I was saying that, and that was actually a mistake, but <laughs> I had to go ahead and eat it because I had just thought about it, but... It wasn't a real, it was like a little piece of, small piece of pork. Anyway. Remember I was saying that we would do it 
where each holiday, if you want to eat pork or, you know, you're one of those people that just love bacon, love ribs, love any type of pork, then we could do it. Like if you're on the fast with me, we could do it on the holidays like Halloween or Thanksgiving, Christmas. So that way when we're on our fast and we're not eating any sweets and bread and all that stuff, carbohydrates, and we're not, you know, drinking any sodas and all that stuff, we're just drinking water and no sugar juices or something like that. Zero sugar juices like Gatorade or something like that. Or, you know, if you do coffee, you do your sweet and low or your tea, you do your sweet and low or something like that in there. Um, Cause I've actually been buying like sweet tea in a jug, but I it's unsweet tea. It's actually unsweet tea and I just add some sweet and low to it. But that way, you don't feel bad when you are at the end of the year and you're like, oh, my New Year's resolution is something. You lose some more weight. You can actually feel good about yourself. You can splurge a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't have to feel like... You being weighed down with all the food, eating all type of way. Mm -hmm. That's a good old shrimp. So, it's probably all I'm gonna eat today. All I've had was yogurt for breakfast. And this will be lunch and dinner. I started doing an Alfredo sauce, but not this time. I do it with something else. I do it another time with Alfredo. I know I had said I'm eating something different next time, but y'all, I'm so hooked on seafood right now. Seafood is where it's at. quiet i'm sorry so i guess this is dish shell shrimp and dish shell crap mm. Mm -mm. good corn sweet corn It sure is hot though. It's spicy hot and it's saucy hot. <laughs> Y'all, I hope my nose wasn't running bad, was it? <laughs> I ain't had none on my lip. Because that was a lot of mucus. When 
I tell you, this is hot and spicy. This is hot and spicy. Excuse me, let me get this out of here. I'll put it over there so we don't have <clears throat> food in it. That we've already eaten. All right, yeah, we back. <laughs> My bed crossing all over the screen and stuff. But anyway, how have y'all been doing? What are y'all up to? What are your plans for this fall festive? season are you going to the fair did the fair come to your city your state what's your favorite ride at the fair what's your favorite food at the fair i remember growing up all i remember growing up off Polish sausage, my daddy and my mom used to love some polish sausage when we were young, growing up, going to the fair. Um, we like chicken on the stick, of course. <laughs> Funnel cakes. <laughs> we would always share one. We never would eat. Well, then we just buy two and then let everybody eat off the, those two. I never could eat one by myself. My sister never could eat one by herself until we got like older, but we still don't try to eat it by ourselves now. We still divide them up if we were to get it. But yeah what about y'all if they had shrimp out there you know i'll be getting shrimp i love their the fair pizza be good too Hi, um we had we actually came across somebody who was selling candy apples the other day and i haven't had a red good fresh candy apple in a long time I have ran across some gourmet candy apples in Walmart. Then we ran past a red candy apple. The other day, somebody was selling them at a um, place that we went to. It was so good. <laughs> it was fresh. And my mom came back from um, something that she had with her friends last night and they had did a white chocolate one with some, some pink sprinkles. And when you got on the inside of the apple, it was a green apple. I tasted it. It was so good. I was like, oh, y'all getting creative with these apples, honey. But I couldn't eat, you know, I didn't eat the whole thing because yeah. Once again, we know it's a little sweet. But it's an apple, so it's still kind of healthy, too. And all the major splurge, just a little bit. That's what I like about it.
sorry I'm not talking much, y'all. Y'all, no matter where your health is, all you can do is do your best each and every day to take care of yourself. Make sure you're staying on task if you're on medicine or anything. When it comes down to dieting and eating right, don't be so hard on yourself. Continue to love yourself. No matter what shape, what weight, what form you are. Everyone is unique in their own unique ways. I was reading something where it said people in the world today are being are not up, uh, are not happy with their weight. They're not happy with their sizes. They're not happy with who they are. And I was just like, well, you know what? It's good to encourage people to just be you. Don't go about what you see on TV. Certain people have surgeries. Some people may know how to just get up and work it out. And then some people are just probably naturally built in certain ways. And it doesn't mean it's your way that you're built if you're not, you know, the status quo. It doesn't mean that your, your way is wrong. It just means, you know, hey, work on it if you want to. But most of all, be healthy. Eat healthy. Um, walk every day or do some type of exercise, whether it be just only eight minutes or 10 minutes long, you can still lose weight or tighten up even from that. And then mostly it's really got more so in what you eat more so than what you, how you exercise. It's really just about drinking a lot of water, eating healthy, because I learned that you could do all the working out you want to do. Yeah. It's good to burn calories that way. But if you're eating wrong and you're putting all those calories back into your body, you're going to get a toned body. But then you're going to be saying, oh, I feel so heavy. I still feel sluggish because you're not eating right. So don't be hard on yourself, though. Everything takes time. Nobody just wake up the next day and just be, you know, unless you had some type of surgery. And even with surgery, you still have to wait for a minute before your body actually just conforms to that, that shape that you're trying to get. That's why people are wearing those um I can't was it it's a sphinx I call it a sphinx because but it's something else those body shapers that they wear after you had a surgery um some people are walking around with waist trainers on so make their waist look smaller some people are walking around with girdles on just be happy in who you are some people just let it all hang out and if that's who you are then that's fine too be happy with you embrace who God made you everyone is unique there is something unique about you there's something that you know, you have that somebody else don't have. Uh, I just want to do my part in making sure I don't sound like, yeah, I know I'm a hip, you know, when it comes to my health because I've been sick. I, um, I'm always talking about, oh, I can't eat this much or I can't do that. But that's because I had, you know, a stomach you know, some stuff going on in my stomach when I lost my child. Um, my intestines got messed up. Um, you know, I had part of my, part of my colon, you know, clipped or cut because I had a tumor that was stuck to it. You know, so I had a lot of stuff going on inside of me. That's the only reason why I talk about my health so much. Not because I'm upset with who I am. I just want to make sure that I stay in shape and get back to the person that I was before I started gaining so much weight. I used to be like that small and that's how you sound that's how I'm I'm used to being that small, you know. But I'm even learning you don't have to be the size of a paper clip or you don't have to be so tiny in order to look good or to look fine or to feel like yourself. Just make sure you're eating healthy. Eating healthy, drinking water, staying active, like walking or something or working out. Every day makes you feel just as light and happy and healthy. And you are. Oh. I hope I didn't mess it up by saying certain things because you know how you be trying to help and then you actually hurting somebody worse i'm not trying to do that don't be offended by any of that but yeah don't look at what you see on tv i could totally get just as small as I was when I was on the dance line, it just takes time. 
and I'm gonna get there. <laughs> but I'm not gonna beat myself up trying to get there. <laughs> I had to realize my body had gone through like two surgeries. Pretty much four surgeries because in the year 2018, I had two surgeries back to back. One of them was a laparoscopic surgery, which was for them to see where certain things were located. Then I had the major surgery to remove what was, what was you know, causing problems. Then the next year, the same thing happened while I was pregnant. So, I had certain, uh, my, my, uh, what that thing, what is that thing called? My, what, appendix ruptured. So, of course, it was removed. My, part of my intestines were removed that second year the first year that's when part of my colon had to be removed so yeah i was all <laughs> i was all jacked up and um yeah my uterus was damaged a little bit so hey i had to i i, I want to be the healthiest of me so that's why i'm so eager i'm not hard on myself i still have to love myself and accept who i am and realize that my body was full of fluid i was really sick so I said all that to say, if I ever sounded like I was just too hard on my weight or I was just too harsh on uh, pointing out, you know, the fact that I had gained a lot of weight, it was because I'm so used to being so small. And when I gained a lot, it was because I was sick. The tumor still made me gain some weight. So I'm sharing my story. A lot of people be like, you can, you know, you help people with the stories that you share. I'm sharing my stories, but it's, it takes the people to actually click on the video to actually see how certain things can help, you know, other people. I try through my videos to just give positivity, but also let people know that nothing is perfect. No one is perfect in life. Everybody has problems. Whereas you may not have been sick. You may have another type of struggle that you had that I may not have had or that I had or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That you can help with somebody with just sharing your story. And then you don't have to share your story because I didn't feel like sharing my story. And sometimes I still don't tell all of my story, you know, um, but I give bits and pieces that I feel like can help people. So, um, yeah, just love on yourself. Treat yourself. Make sure you're eating healthy. Make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids, plenty of water. You don't want to be dehydrated. You don't want to, because um, pretty much water really cuts the fat too, you know. Finding ways to just hydrate yourself. That could that could be something. And then you can get these weight loss teas as well that helps out with the toxins in your body to detox your body. Hmm. I've tried two. One of them was Keisha K. Ors, so you can try hers. It really works, and it really cleans you from top to bottom. And then there's one I tried. Um, I ordered offline. I can't even remember the name of it, but it works as well. I, I tried it right after I got off the Keisha K. Or one. Just, you know, you have toxins build up in your body that you don't even know about. Mm. Hmm. But y'all, I'm here full. I know I still got like a whole tray of meat and stuff left. But I ain't gonna stuff myself. I'm gonna eat this good egg though. Maybe another shrimp. My shrimp are down up in there. So, this was delicious. I can't eat the other piece of corn right now. 
I think because I talked up my fullness. I'm not full right now. I mean, I'm not hungry right now. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Love on yourself. Love who you are. Be happy in the scam. In your scam. Uh, who God made you. Created you to be. You learn something new every day. Apply it to your daily life. Whatever you learn new. Whether it's a beauty habit. Whatever it, whether it's a health habit. Or, or just something, you know, in general. It could be a new word. <laughs> mm -mm. That's some good stuff. But anyway, y'all, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Peace, love, and happiness. Blessings to all of us. And make sure you stay safe. And if you do go out for Halloween or whatever you're gonna do, make sure you are safe and you're somewhere safe and you just enjoy yourself have fun be thankful for who you are and where you are in life peace love and happiness bye y'all